Okay, welcome back to the channel. This is Model Rocks 321. Have a new video for you coming up right here. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hit the thumb up button. Also, ring the bell notification so you will know when I drop new videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about on the essential items you need when you go to a rocket launch. Um, I fly a little bit different than most people, I think, because um, I don't bring a whole lot of stuff. I only bring kind of like what I need with a couple extra things. And if you fly in a group, some of these things, if you forget them, it's no big deal because, you know, someone, your partner next to you, people are typically pretty generous and they'll let you borrow so whatever whatever you need. So but when you fly solo like I do, I don't really fly in the club anymore. Um, when you fly solo, you got to make sure you have at least these basic essential things. Um, so that way, if something happens, you got your, your own self covered when it's um, time to do what you got to do. So we're just going to run through these things really quick. Um, like I said, I fly a little bit different. Typically, I try to pack the rockets either the night before or a couple days before. So that way I have everything ready. If you make a little list, you'll have everything you need. So when you go fly, you go do what you do, then you head on back in the house. You're done. So um, I'm going to just start with... The launch controller of course you're going to bring the launch controller but make sure you have charge batteries or extra batteries i use the command launch controller which is right here i rarely have to charge these batteries they run on two 7.2 volt um, radio control batteries this thing lasts i can probably get 5,000 launches no 500 launches out of this thing well no issue but i rarely have to charge your batteries but also but i always do check before i go to make sure but they're always good but if you fly the, the the typical or the classic Estes launch controller takes the four AA batteries. You may want to check those batteries and also don't leave the batteries in the controller. Take them out um, because those things, they get weird. I've seen them heat up and melt the controller. Like they'll melt the controller to the, I have one around somewhere that it got melted because the batteries were left in there. It wasn't mine. I had gotten it from somewhere. But make sure you always check your batteries before you go so when you don't get to the field, you'll have um, power for everything. So that's that's a basic little check before you go um, before as you're packing up and getting your stuff all ready um, another thing to bring is some sandpaper bring sandpaper sanding sticks whatever this is from North Coast it said clean your clips with North Coast rocketry this is a North Coast shout out to uh, Matt Steele over at North Coast these just bring sandpaper and a sanding stick so you can clean your micro clips um, after launches and you can also clean your launch rod like between launches because this will build up a residue on them so you'll take sandpaper you want to sand that sorry about that you want to sand um the rod to keep it clean because it starts to get a little sticky as you want to uh launch and build up more friction on your rod and your rockets won't fly off um too too clean you want them you want them to have nice with like very low friction you want them to get off the rod really quick so sandpaper that's a top item to bring um, always have that with you. You're going to need it if you're flying like, you know, three to four or five rockets with, um, when you go out to a launch, have uh, sandpaper. Um, the next thing I'd say is a pair of pliers of any kind. I just have these to show. I have another pair I usually bring. Have a pair of these. Sometimes engines can get stuck and you may have to grab something or do anything. So have pliers with you. That's just another good needle nose typically. Um, they'll cover pretty much everything you need when it comes to launching model rockets. So a pair of pliers are good to have. Um, Next up, I'll say talcum powder. Bring some baby powder. Um, this is good for putting on your parachute, especially the plastic parachutes. If you have to pack into a small body, bring talcum powder. Um, that way, it keeps the pair. It don't let them be as sticky. Put the powder on the parachute, rub it on. Put some on the inside, rub it on there. Then go on and pack your parachute. So bring talcum talcum powder. I know. Growing up back east, it was very like it gets humid up there, so it would be the parachutes like the stick. But out here, it's a little drier, but it's still I still run into it with certain rockets with like minimum diameter. You got to fit a parachute in there; they want to stay. So you definitely put talcum powder on the parachute and probably a little bit down inside the body. It won't hurt it, and that'll help it free up and it'll take air a lot easier when you um just add some baby powder. This is a little small, little Johnson and Johnson little baby powder. Just keep that with you, a little small one. And um, that'll set you up. Next is something I've been doing for a few launches. I knew about it for many years, but it really helps with high, high flying rockets. This is some colored, um, they call it color toss packet. You can find it in Hobby Lobby. Um, it's just a brightly colored dust. You put it, pack your parachute, pour it in on top of the parachute. Not make it, not heavy, not the whole bag, just enough. 
So when they launch and then you get ejection, you'll see this stuff pop out. It'll help you spot your rocket a lot easier. Recently, when we flew to so long, we actually saw it. Um, it was way up there. It was tiny. And the funny thing is, when I fly like regular rockets and I use it, you'll see a nice big cloud because they're lower. But with those so long rockets, it was so high. That thing, it was tiny. That just show you how high the so long rocket really went. But you were able to spot it, though. Give you something extra other than the tracking smoke. And then you'll see when the ejection happened. We saw both of ours and um, still lost the rockets. But anyway, this is just a good trick. It can get you on track to, to bring back your rocket. Any of those like 2,000 feet flyers and smaller rockets that'll fly to 2,000 feet or you know 1,500 feet. This is good. Put some in there. Not too much because you don't want to start adding a lot of weight. But this is um, a good, good little thing to have. Well, they sell us at Hobby Lobby. So different color. They have the blue and they have this color right here. Maybe some green or some other color. But this is very easy to see against the blue sky. Next up, tape. Always, always, always have tape. Tape is so important. I mean. You can use it for standoffs when you're putting the rocket on your rod. If you forget, if you don't have the clip, you have to put a rocket on the um, rod like this. I can show you a quick little, if I can get this on here. <laughs> so yeah, if you want to put a rocket on, you want to have a little standoff, you want a little somewhere for it to sit up off of, run some tape just around the rod and it'll get, let you stand off the plate. I saw somebody launching recently, they had the rocket all the way down on the plate. And I know the bottom of that rocket got burned up. I saw a launch happen like that. Um, so tape, any kind of tape, but masking tape typically will cover all your needs out there. So bring some masking tape. Um, also a knife, guys, a knife, a knife, a knife, a knife. You gotta have a knife with you. Um, I usually bring this one with me, but I love the Swiss Army knife. I really need a new one. I had this one for a very long time. It lost its shield. I want to get another one. It lost the uh, the toothpick. I think I had the tweezers. They're not that important. Yeah, the tweezers are still here. So this is a very good one. I love the Swiss Army knife. Um, very good knife. You can find all kind of multi-tool knives, whatever you, whatever suits your needs. But I love the Swiss Army knife because it has the scissors. Sometimes you don't need a knife, but you may need a little pair of scissors. So this is the Tinker. This is the one that I love um, a lot. I really need a new one. I want to get a new one, get some new scales. And um, it's just a cool, fun tool to have. Um, it's perfect. I marked it here with little one inch marks. In case you have to, man, I did a little quarter inch. I put a little cut right there at the one inch, two inch, and this is three and, three and a quarter inch. So if you ever have to measure something, you have a Swiss Army knife, it'll give you a little, a little range, a little measurement tool also. So Swiss Army knife or any kind of knife is good to bring. Um, next up, Extra engines, like I fly solo, and I sometimes I plan to say to fly, to fly, say three to four rockets, and I'll, I'll bring those three to four engines. Plus, I'll bring a couple extras, I'm just in case it was a great day, and I say, you know what, the weather's great. I'm gonna squeeze one more launch in here. It's not too hot or anything. To squeeze one more launch, so I'll bring a couple extra engines. So I always plan my launches out, but bringing a couple extra engines is um is pretty good. It's a good thing to do, and of course extra igniters because you know the way they can you can get misfires and they'll burn um just extra igniters it's self-explanatory there's no reason why you should not be bringing extra igniters and, and a couple extra engines like i said i plan my launches but something can happen to a motor or to an engine um have extra igniters extra engines that's that's self-explanatory nothing else to say there and glue bring glue um I would go with the CA glue over the yellow glue because depending on the, the depth of the fix, if it's a quick fix, you just want to get something. Recently, I had to bring one when I, my space shuttle crashed. I was able to do a quick fix to the nose just to get a second flight off. Even though it went bad, I was still able to um, get that done. But extra glue um, is something to have. So these are just some essential items outside of fire extinguisher. Hiking boots, if you in my, time, my kind of terrain, definitely have hiking boots, something to cover your ankle. You don't want to twist an ankle, especially in my area. If you guys are launching on nice, smooth grass, then you're probably, you're doing good. But where I'm at, definitely want to have on um, hiking boots. But these are the essential items to bring. Um, like, share, subscribe to the channel. Smile Rocks 321. And I will see you guys on another video. Check out this video coming up right here.